Well, hello. So, no Q&A today, obviously. Um, I'm really struggling, as you can tell from the title of this video. You guys know that my tooth broke the other day, and I showed you guys how I still had the piece of the tooth that I could push back in to fill the hole, and it would kind of just stay there on its own. Um, so it didn't look too bad. But then I was cleaning yesterday, or the day before, I think, and I sneezed, and the tooth went flying, and we lost it. We tore apart my entire room. Like, the problem is, it was probably the same color as the carpet, because my teeth are that gross. Um, but we could not find it anywhere. We tore apart garbage cans, and my bed, and my dresser, and all the furniture, and we looked so much and we lost it and when I realized I couldn't find it I just broke and I know that's so silly but I feel like an idiot I feel like I'm talking like an idiot I feel like I look ridiculous even more so than I did um and it's hard for me I don't know what to do <laughs> Um, we went to the oral surgeon today, and so I do want to kind of update you on that. Um, things are looking very frustrating, a lot, a lot harder than I thought this would all be. Um, I don't want to cry, I've been crying all day and I have a headache. <laughs> So our original plan was to do the permanent dentures and that's still the plan for my bottom teeth but my top teeth the bone might not be strong enough to do it um so they had me do a ct scan today and they're gonna review it and see what they think about the bone but right now he he isn't really liking what he's seeing so far um there's another option we can do if we can't do the all on four on top, if we can't do the permanent dentures on top, we can do like five different bridges, which is where they'll put like four or five posts, like this post line. Can you see these silver ones? I don't know if you can see because I can't see the screen hardly at all from here. Um, they'll put those and then connect like twists and connect teeth right to them and then in between they'll make a bridge too so they'll put another tooth in between the implants does that make any sense i don't know it's confusing um it might be a little more expensive though <laughs> to do that and i don't know so right now we're just waiting for what they think about my scan um i have an appointment on monday with my dentist to design my dentures and for now we're just designing basically what we're doing essentially is just designing regular dentures like the ones that you take in and out and then when it's time for the surgery we decide whether or not to make them permanent i believe i don't know it's really confusing um so i have an appointment on monday for my with my dentist to make our dent my, make my dentures and do all that stuff and maybe he can fix this tooth for now because I can't get the surgery for probably at least two or three weeks which is really frustrating also but uh, I should have expected that I don't know why I thought it would be quicker than that but um uh, I have to get a drink and I don't want to edit this and I don't have pants on luckily I have a blanket I'll be back don't leave don't leave don't leave I'm gonna try and make this under 15 minutes so I can direct upload it. So 
so anyway, um, since we don't really know right now what's going to happen, we won't know until the next, we'll know in the next few days probably, but for now, um, man, I'm struggling with this, you guys, I'm really struggling with this, and I don't know why, like my mom was, my mom is the best as always, and she took me to my appointment today, and she's just there for me through everything, and she was asking if I was worried about it because I talk for my job. <laughs> um, and it makes me sound even funnier than I already did. It makes me look funnier than I did, I feel. Um, by the way, if you have a gap in your front tooth, I don't think that's ugly on you. This is just my self-esteem that's low because I'm already missing all of my other teeth. Not all of them, but almost all of them. And so one more on top just makes it look even 10 times worse in my opinion i don't know but there are people out there with gap like um kristen from like kristen do you guys watch her on youtube she's so cool and she has a gap between her two front teeth and she rocks it and she looks amazing i don't know how she does it but she is incredible she's beautiful um i don't it, None of that matters. I know that none of that matters. It's just I'm my self-esteem is attacking me right now and it's just coming out in a way of I don't know. So I guess that I'm starting to think that oh that's right that's what I was talking about um, I told my mom I said I'm worried that people won't when they watch my videos they'll just be staring at this tooth and not listening to what I'm saying and they might not get the information and hear what I'm talking about because they're only focused on this ugliness right here that is nasty and rotting away, like it's not just a normal gap in my teeth. I have roots hanging out. I've covered them with putty, you can't see it. But I have these like brown roots that hang out and it hurts so bad to even breathe because the cool air or any air zings it because the roots are just hanging out. Um, so the putty is there for now, but it doesn't stay very well. So that's frustrating too. But anyway, um, I just told her, I was like, no one's gonna wanna watch me right now because they're not even going to hear what I'm saying because they're going to look at how ridiculous I look. And she's like, do you really think your shanty fannies are that shallow? And I was like, no, I know they're not, but I think I am. <laughs> I think that's the problem. I think I'm the one being shallow here and I'm the one being vain and I don't know why it's bothering me so much. It just, like before I could still smile and it wasn't as bad because you, you can't see my bottom teeth when I smile, you know? And even though that tooth was gross and dead and brown, I at least had a tooth there, and I don't know. I, I'm just feeling discouraged. I'm feeling like, is this even all worth it? Because what if I don't live that long? I'm not gonna live that long. I'm not going to live as long as normal people, and that's just a fact, and what if my time comes even sooner than we think. Like I've always said, I don't, I don't well that's not true, hold on. I used to always think that I would die by the time I was 30, and then I turned 30 and I was alive, so that was great. But recent, like the past year, I've been feeling like I'll probably die around 50, and that's less than, that's 18 years away. Like, is this really, worth all of that and what if I die in the meantime what if I die before like and I know that I've talked about this before and ever all of you have told me and the the person who's donating the money has told me over and over and over like you are worth it you are worth it it doesn't matter even if you did die tomorrow this would still be worth it blah, blah, blah. but I just don't want to put any more burden on people than I already have and I feel like I am breaking I am breaking and I've pissed off because I've been trying so hard to do so well and I've been doing so well like you guys know that it's incredible the changes I've made 
I had no idea I was capable of doing that. I didn't believe that I was capable of doing that, but I did it. And even if you don't believe in God or Satan or the devil or whatever, maybe you can relate this to yourself in another way. But the way that I look at it is that I do believe in God. I do believe in Satan. And this every single time I have done something good for myself or tried to do something good for myself, the adversary, Satan, works extra hard on me. Extra hard. And... I don't really believe in karma, but there's something that I believe in, like an energy that happens and things just go wrong when I try and do the right thing. And so it's just really attacking me hard right now. And I think that's because I have not thrown up at all this year, actually. So that's great. And then in the past three months, it's only been a few times. Like I'm doing amazing. And not only that, but I'm keeping a lot of food down. I am, I've changed my sleep schedule. My body's starting to feel better. Like I'm doing really great eating disorder recovery wise. And so I'm getting extra attacked because Satan or Ed or whoever you want to call it does not want me to succeed. And he's doing a damn good job today, <laughs> but I don't want it to stay like this. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm telling you this because I was not going to make a video at all today. I was going to hide from you all until my tooth got fixed because I was so embarrassed. Um, I was going to have Danny make a video and tell you guys that I don't want you to see me like this and blah, 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 blah. But but you guys have been my rock through all of this since I started my channel. And you've been there for me through all the ups and downs in the past year and a half. And I know that you'll be there for me right now as well. And I need to swallow my pride and stop being vain and ask for more love and support from you guys. Because I know you'll give it to me. Even if I didn't ask for it, you guys would have already done it in the comments. Let's be honest, because you guys are the best. Anyway, my time is almost up. Um, I did get this for Christmas, and I'm very excited about it. Wait, how do you turn it on? It's a rain... Oh, you can't even tell. Oh, how do I show you? This thing creates a rainbow on your wall. Do you see what I mean? It'll look better on the wall. You just put it down, and it creates like a rainbow. Like, is that not the best thing you've ever seen in the world? You probably don't care as much as I do. You guys know me in rainbows. Turn off. Anyway, so just wanted to give you that update and tell you how it went. If you pray, keep me in your prayers. Pray that my bones are strong enough to get this done. Because <sighs> if not, it's going to be really, really rough. And these next few weeks are going to be really hard for me. So be patient with me and I might just end up vlogging every day or just doing Q&A's every day or whatever I feel like doing that day because I have to put every ounce of energy into staying recovered so that I'm healthy enough to get the surgery. Um, yeah, so I'm sorry this was a downer today, but thank you for listening and I love you guys and I will see you tomorrow and remember forever and always that you are beautiful, you are worth it. And I am too. I love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.